Frank. Morning, Patty. Oh, good morning, Ashley. Nice coconuts. I would say you were a shoe in for the Halloween costume contest here at Nemours, but that's not for another six months. So, what's up with the outfit? You remember, today's the big get your grass skirt for the luau sale day. And I can't believe Joan and Accounting donated all these grass skirts for me to sell to our employees. Well, the best news of all, the proceeds are going to benefit the Sunshine Campers organization I support. That's awesome. Here, let me help you out with those. Oh. One more. Thank you all for being here. I, I know it's early, but trust me, it's worth it. And I know some of you have already met Ashley, my daughter and favorite new employee. She'll be joining us for the summer as a paid intern. Oh, and Damala, I'd like Ashley to share your cubicle while she's here. Won't that be fun? Team player. Ta-da! I wonder what it is this year, alpacas across America? Oh, no, no, no. He's, He's not, not going to make us donate to his cause again this year. Ay, Dios mio, don't we have real work to do? Hello, fans! Luau time is fast approaching. And I need your help, too. Reach for those wallets and get your luau gear before they all hula away. It's a great cause, everyone. And Dad, I mean Frank, shouldn't we tell them that Joan gave us all this stuff for free? Oh, sure. You're so smart. I wish I could promote you right now. <laughs> uh, folks, Joan down in accounting donated a bunch of luau party supplies for our annual picnic. And don't forget, Halloween is right around the corner. So make sure you stop by her family's party store for all your party supply needs. Boy, I can't sell my kid's pizza coupons for his baseball team and give the proceeds to the Lung Association, but Frank gets to do whatever he wants. I love the smell of nepotism in the morning. Um, excuse me, Frank? We have a winner! How many grass skirts do you think Gary wants? This is crazy. Maybe I should say something to Frank, or his boss. Come on, Frank. Uh-oh, grumpy Gary needs a hug. Or how about some coconuts instead? Frank, can we be serious just for a moment? So what's got your skirt all in a bunch? Look, Frank, I gotta be honest. You know I love Ashley. I've known her for a long time. But I'm just afraid some of the folks around here are starting to wonder why she was hired. I'm just saying. Can I be frank? I hear you, I hear you. I guess I just never thought about bringing my daughter in to fill the summer intern position would be an issue. But you're right. I wasn't thinking about how it would look to the rest of the team. The thing I really wanted to talk to you about is the fact that you're selling these grass skirts for the luau and the proceeds aren't benefiting Nemours. I think that's just wrong. I remember when Helen in Patient Relations was trying to sell candles for her daughter's camp. She was told that asking co-workers for contributions is a complete and utter violation of our solicitation policy. So it looks like you're sending mixed signals. You're calling me out. I appreciate that. I never thought of it that way. Thanks for bringing these issues to my attention, Gary. I'm going to make things right. I appreciate you listening, Frank. So that's all we want, is you guys to give us your reaction. Tell us what you think the takeaway message should be. So that. Be courageous. What's that thing that says on our tools? Mm -hmm. have, have that courageous Courage conversation. <laughs> and tell that person, you really shouldn't be doing yeah, We're not following the Morse policy. The, the policy states. We can't do that. But how comfortable is that, really? That's that courageous conversation we're supposed to be working towards. Mm -hmm. And we have all, I believe, have gotten better just by being, just in my own experience, by saying, you know, just sticking it out there. I need to have a courageous conversation with you, and you're just putting it on the table and they know that this is very uncomfortable for you, 
but you know, I, I'm letting you know right now, I'm not feeling good about this. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that's where I've come with that. So I think, you know, with the more than part of our like goals on our thing, mm -hmm. that it truly has helped. And I can't read from it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number six. Yeah. You know, yeah. Not, and you're not judgmental. You know, you just and you just need to let them know. This is how I feel about it. I think there's less pressure if everybody's on the same page. Mm -hmm. so, you know, then less people are going to be trying to bring stuff in to solicit. So. So how do you get everybody to be on the same page? Training. Training. Yeah. I Training. think you. Yeah, I think the takeaway policy can probably be awareness. Kind of like awareness mm -hmm. is key. So mm -hmm. it's out there and people know the policies. And it's not so. It's, it's not. It's not out there, and that's why right. people, hey, my kid's doing this thing. I have exactly. to, you know, so, mm -hmm. because nobody knows. Nobody who knows the rules. I, you know, like I said, I just started venturing with it, with participating, volunteering, being part of the committee here, and, you know, all the events that, that memoirs want to be part of, it got interesting, but then you come across the legal stuff, but there's so many people out there that don't know that. So right. do you think that... Right? I think there's a level of respect when you go directly to the person instead of you know, if, if I go to Keisha and say, I can't believe what Monica was doing, and you know, it's going to change the whole morale of the it whole is. department. Actually, if you can just go to the person, I'd say 99% of the time their intentions are not to bother you, not to make you feel pressured, and you just need to like maybe put yourself in their shoes and, and you know, help them to be on the right path. Frank hires his daughter. Frank tells people to support his cause. Frank seems like he's giving out contracts. Nobody knows if he went through the right channels or not. Right. How do people deal with what they think is favoritism, and though even though it might not be favoritism? What can they do about that? And what can they do if they don't understand the policy, or even if they don't know there's a policy? Okay, so basically I really feel that anything that we're doing, anything that we're getting involved in, we have to always remember that we're representing the more because it is a family. So even in a regular family, you want to represent your family well. So if you are going to do something, I think you always need to be cognizant of the policies and the procedures that are in place. I think that you need to go to the next step to make sure that you're following those policies and procedures and be accountable to yourself. Be honest with yourself and accountable to yourself for the things that you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an actress.